Dentist, situated at number 91 Eastern Main Road in St. Augustine. For the program, Health and Healing, merging the old with the new with Brent Diet. For more information, call 318-7471 or 484-0141 or 360-4100. It's all about Kingdom Health Services on the Street 919 FM, starting May 7th. Okay, Trina and Tobago, so we have live with us this morning from Kingdom Health. We have Kingdom Health live. You have to go up on YouTube. You have to go up on Facebook. I'm going to hand you over to my good brother. Is Sean is his name? Friend Diet. Friend Diet. Ah, Brent Dyatt, sorry. So I'm going to hand you over to my brother, Brent Dyatt, who is already um, on, on, on our um, Zoom to go. So come on, Trinidad Tobago, and listen to all the advice that he has to give this morning. Take it over, Brent. Okay, so good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And I want to encourage us, you know, in the midst of all that is going on, for us to continue trusting God and doing all that is necessary for us to overcome all that is taking place during this pandemic. So I am Brent Diet from Kingdom Health Services, located at 91 Eastern Main Road, St. Augustine. And our goal is to create customized health solutions for both to meet both you and your family needs. You can also follow us on Facebook at Kingdom Health Services. So today's program is health and healing, merging the old with the new. So in other words, what we'll be doing, we'll be discussing health practices that our grandparents would have utilized, as well as merging them with current practices and new technologies. So today, what we'll be doing, we'll be continuing our study of building a strong immune system. So the purpose of our immune system is to fight off pathogens, diseases, viruses. And our immune system is similar to immigration, where when something foreign enters the body, our immune system gives it approval and it continually scans our body to see if something would have entered that would have been harmful to us. And last week, we looked at a few things that would affect our immunity. We looked at stress, we looked at poor diet, but I want to focus on a few things that affect our immune system. And we also want to look at history. So in, there's a, a photo that is circulating the internet where it would have said that every 100 years, a pandemic affects the nations of the world. So in 1918 to 1919, we had the Spanish flu, and that would have occurred right after World War. So there were several factors that would have affected um, persons' immunity, and that would have actually led to the death of over 50 million persons. And it was reported that there were about 500 million cases, and roughly about 10% of the infected cases actually died, which was a roughly about 50 million persons. So, right, imagine right after World War, during World War, persons would not have been able to access good food. Their diets would have been affected, so they wouldn't get fresh food. Most of them would have been eating, eating tin foods. So they were not eating proper, they were not getting proper nutrition, as well as they were eating foods with low nutritional values. So it would have lacked vitamins, trace minerals, minerals, amino acids, fatty acids, as well as the lack of sleep affects our immune system and stress. And I want to focus on the emotional aspect of health. Very often we look at the physical aspect, but health is three-dimensional. We must look at the body, things that we consume, things that affect the body, but also there is the soul area, the unseen area, which is mind, will, and emotions. And there is an emotional aspect 
that affect our health. So when a person is stressed out, you know, the body creates um, acids and it can lead to stomach ulcers. Different health issues can be connected to different emotions. I remember one time there was a young man who he had gotten uh, all the symptoms of a heart attack and paid money to do CT scans, MRI, ECG, and nothing came out of it. His organs were fun his heart was functioning properly. However, when he did one of the scans that we provide, it picked up that he would have suffered from a broken heart. And when we investigated a week before he would have gotten those symptoms of the heart attack, he had broken up with his girlfriend. So we saw where the emotional aspect not only affects our body's functionality, but it also affects organs and our immune system. So stress can affect our immune system greatly and lead to the manifestation of various diseases. So I want to remind us that the body is electromagnetic. So we function based on frequencies. Every organ has its own voltage. That's why a person may touch a refrigerator, a doorknob, a car door, and you may get a little shock. Person's woman, you may wear a skirt, and that skirt may have static on it. A person may wear a jersey, that jersey would have static. It's because the body is electromagnetic. So we have a voltage of 62 to 72 hertz, according to scientists. And whenever that body's frequency drops to 58, we become vulnerable to diseases. When it drops to 57, we get the flu. When it drops to 55, we get candida. When it drops to 42, we get cancer. When it drops to 25 and under, we die. How does this connect to our immunity? How? Well, when we hold on to negative emotions, think negative things, our body's frequency or immunity drops by 12 hertz. So holding on to negative emotions, going through negative experiences and not finding a way to remove it or eliminate it from our, our um, bodies, it actually decreases our health. However, science says that when we think positive or declare positive things, our body's immunity increases by 10 hertz. And interesting enough, there is power in prayer. So despite all that we're going through, prayer has a tangible and measurable response to our body's health. According to the science, this is not Brent Diet speaking here. This is scientists who discovered this and published it on the internet. They said that when a person prays, their body's frequency increases by 15 hertz. So prayer actually improves of one's health and it boosts your immunity. So I want to encourage us to, you know, in the midst of all that is taking place, go back to that practice of prayer that our grandparents would have practiced. So I want to leave a few tips of how to boost our immunity. We can boost our immunity through vitamins and supplements, such as vitamin C. And we want to look at natural sources of vitamin C. So for example, Moringa would give you at least four times more vitamin C than oranges. Um, another high um, producer of vitamin C or is sweet peppers. We could use berries, green leafy vegetables. Those would help to boost our immunity and increase the level of vitamin C in our bodies. We can also use vitamin D. And I know many of us, we are in a lockdown, so you are maybe confined to your homes or only going out when necessary. But I want to encourage us to take about 10 minutes of the day between the hours of 8 and 12, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. to go into the sun. Because sunlight is very important for the production and the absorption of vitamin D, which is very important for the functionality of our immune system. So take about 10 minutes, go out in the sun, and get your daily supply of vitamin D through sunlight. You can also use zinc, which helps to boost our T cells. And 
you could use herbs like moringa, ginger, garlic, papo, echinacea, as well as a changing lifestyle and diet so we can do fasting, eat low carbs, we, um, increase our sleep, as I said, reduce stress. You can also incorporate colloidal silver, and I want to reiterate that, that colloidal silver is an ancient mineral that has been utilized for centuries in boosting immunity and also in eliminating viruses, diseases, pathogens, bacteria, fungi. What it does, it actually crushes the, the oxygen metabolism or the lungs of viruses and therefore rendering it, rendering it useless and eliminating it from you know, affecting the body. Um, before I end, I want to give a health tip brought to you by Kingdom Health Services. And I want to give you an, an immune blend that would boost your immunity and that can help protect you during this pandemic. And there are a few things, you know, I want us to pay attention to that can help us. Firstly, having trust in God. Secondly, doing what is necessary during this pandemic. And thirdly, boosting your immunity. So here is the health tip from Kingdom Health Services. And all of these can be found right in your kitchen. So you need six to eight cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of clove, two inches of ginger. And what you do, you put all of them in a bowl and you crush them finely. Then you add eight ounces of water followed by quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt, and you put it in a pot with that water and you allow it to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. After it is boiled, you allow it to cool for about five minutes. Then you would strain it and you would add one teaspoon of lemon and honey and mix it well. So I want to repeat that again. So. Today's health tip by Kingdom Health Services to produce an immune blend. You would use six to eight cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of clove, two, in two inches of ginger, and you crush it finely. You would then add eight ounces of water, quarter teaspoon of turmeric, quarter teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. You put it in a, pot, in a pot and allow it to boil and allow it to boil for 15 to 20 minutes. After it has finished boiled, you allow it to cool for five minutes. You would then strain it, add one teaspoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of honey. You mix it well, and you take roughly a teaspoon to two teaspoons daily. And that would not only boost the immune system, but supercharge it to function effectively. At Kingdom Health Services, I just want to remind us that we provide customized health solutions to meet both you and your family needs. And for those of you who may be interested in the, the scan that I spoke about, it's the DNA and the bioplasm scan, biophilia, sorry, tracker scan, that looks at all systems of the body in one scan. So it can detect health issues up to 10 years in advance prior to its manifestation. And it also looks at the emotional matrix because not all health issues may be related to what is physically happening, but it may be connected to emotions that may be affecting certain organs. So we are situated on 91 Eastern Main Road, St. Augustine. And for more information, you can contact us at 318-7471, 318 7471 as well as 484-0141, 484-0141. God bless you, and we can overcome this pandemic together. And I want to encourage us to boost our immune system, continue to do what is necessary, and let us place our trust and faith in God, and we will overcome this together. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you very, very much, and hope to talk to you soon. Thank you. God bless. God bless.
Tune in to The Street 919 FM every Friday beginning May 7th from 9.15 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. with Kingdom Health Services, situated at number 91 Eastern Main Road in St. Augustine. For the program, Health and Healing, Merging the Old 